guys I'm laughing because we got this new little um, janitor in our building at work and it's this Asian lady and every time I see her she be like I like your hair he's very sharp he's very sharp <laughs> you know so I was just talking to her and she said uh, next time you should do number 29 in hair real red red I was just like now do you have a, a beauty supply Miss Kim <laughs> It was so funny that she knew the number. She said sometimes she puts like number 29 or number 613. I was just like, bitch, you better say them damn colors. <laughs> anyway, you guys, just so stereotypical. I did not expect the lady to be telling me what color hair I have. But yeah, you guys, I'm liking the gray. It's so funny. Every time I edit my videos and I see all my old videos and then I'll be looking at a different um, hairstyle or something, I'll be like, oh, I should go back to that. It's just... Yeah, you guys. But anyway, getting to why we here. This is just a little bit of talk about what's at the top of the blog. So let's get to it. Guys, so these are all the little topics you guys asked me to talk about. Nothing too exciting in the gossip world this week, but we're going to make it do what it do, you guys. First up, the feeling myself video. Did you watch it? It was released on title this week exclusively and then about 15 minutes later it was everywhere else i guess so much for exclusivity but you know it's in the digital world you can only keep shit away from people so long but anyway did you guys see the video i did see the video and i thought it was cute it was just what the world wanted to see beyonce and Nicki minaj two of the most um i guess maybe desired women in the world of uh, music right now so it was you know it delivered all that it promised just from the words of the song it's just about these two girls having a good time laughing it looks like they filmed it while they were in Coachella and uh, yeah I enjoyed it I mean I wasn't jumping up and down and doing backflips but I'd never really get like that I mean I think the last time I got like that was when Thriller came out I I ain't had a Thriller moment since then <laughs> but yeah I mean you know people were going on and on about it and I mean, it was cool. It was cool. I like Nicki Minaj. I like Beyonce. I thought they looked really good. And yeah, that, that, that's pretty much it. That's my review on it. Now, people were upset and said that it was controversial and that they, they had issue with first um, the, the, the jersey that Nicki Minaj is wearing in one part that says pervert 17 and I will admit that when I saw it originally I thought that she that was a little low-key dig at Tyga and Kylie Jenner you guys know how tired I am of talking about them and of course that 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 went real viral real fast and everybody's talking about it was shade and whatever and then we found out that no pervert 17 is actually a brand and that is the name of it and it's just a coincidence that it lines up perfectly with Tyga and Kylie's situation but um, she says that no, she was not trying to throw any shade. It's just what she decided to wear. I mean, they were wearing jerseys in the video. Side note, this fucking jersey that Beyonce had on now, all of a sudden everybody is scrambling and scrambling trying to get to this fucking... You guys, first of all, I want everybody to understand that you ain't gonna look like Beyonce in your damn jersey bathing suit. Or what. I don't even know what it is. Like, are we supposed to be... You know, people are saying that people are trying to make them and buy them and everything. But where are you going to wear it other than to the pool? I mean, are you going to be fucking walking around in a bathing suit and some boots? I don't really think so, you guys. So, I mean, it's cute, but it's not. I just, I'm really not understanding the whole hype behind the um, jersey bathing suit leotard. Maybe they're going to put it on with some jeans, but then that won't even look right. You know, I'm child. Anyway, you know, they're wearing jer jerseys in the video. So, I mean, you know. I, what I will say is, I don't think that it was any direct shade that she was trying to throw, but I, you know, nothing goes missed. If we were immediately able to notice that she had on a jersey that says pervert and 17, you best believe that somebody in her team also knew that. It's just something to get people talking, even if she wasn't trying to dig at Tyga and Kylie's situation. It's still something that just kind of opens your eye, maybe gets people talking, you know, keep, keep people wondering. I, I think that that could have probably been what it is but you know her just really trying to come at Tyga and them I don't think that's what it is now <clears throat> people are also upset that your girl Beyonce I guess there's a part in the video when they're in a pool it's supposed to be some very expensive wine and folks are upset you know I guess it gives them that whole Marie Antoinette let them eat cake feel you know that you know people are struggling and starving and ain't got no money and shit and 
we can't fucking take a bath in no damn expensive ass wine so how dare you do it beyonce <laughs> you know again if the bitch want to take a bath that's a fucking expensive ass wine then let her do it i mean she can afford it okay is it i mean to me it's a waste of money but look if that's what she want to do why y'all so mad about it oh my god people find the craziest things to be upset about it's not that big a deal what you really should be more concerned about is the fucking raging ass yeast infection or ass cooking <laughs> Man, I wish I would sit my puss up in some fucking expensive ass wine. Do you know how sensitive this shit here is? Fuck, I can't even change the goddamn soup. You know, my puss be like, no, Roxanne. All of a sudden, that shit be hot and, you know, itchy. Yeah, I ain't fucking around with sitting in no wine, baby. If it ain't water, it ain't me. Yeah, I, I hate Then Let that be on her, you guys. Just get off of it. But other than that, yeah, it was a cute video. I watched it this morning. I wasn't really caring about nothing all this week. So I tried to catch up on everything that I had missed out video-wise this morning. I saw it. I liked it. Did you guys like the video? And while we're talking about Tidal and Beyonce and Nicki Minaj, we might as well talk about Jay-Z, who is the owner of Tidal, by the way. Remember he was saying that he was going to do a lot of exclusive things um, only for Tidal members? Well, he did just that. He held a concert for his Tidal subscribers, and it was all of his B-sides, okay? These are songs that the diehard fans would know, but not necessarily just a, a casual Jay-Z listener, okay? So the concert went off without a hitch. He invited a lot of his old collaborators, you know, Beanie Siegel and Young Jeezy and, you know, a bunch of other people, y'all. I don't, I, you know. And yeah, by all accounts, everybody had a good time at the damn concert. Of course, it was, again, for all the title subscribers. I don't know how they got the tickets. I don't know if he called people and gave them tickets because they say that Jay-Z is doing all kind of shit to make sure that his title subscribers are happy and to bring more in. Now, the, the part of the concert that is making um, headlines is the fact that he did a freestyle and it was just a little, you know, just a little jab at all of the naysayers and the unsupporters of title. And I'll read a little bit of it to you. Actually, I'm gonna read the whole thing real fast. It says, and I don't need no middleman to talk to my niggas. I understand if you don't understand, I figure I'm jigger. That's where we differ. I take what's mine, you accept what they gave you. I get you. I don't take no checks. I take my respect. Pharrell even told me to go with the safest bet. Jimmy Iovine offered a safety net. Google dang around a crazy check. I feel like YouTube was the biggest culprit. Them niggas pay you a tenth of what you're supposed to get, honey. <laughs> don't get me started on YouTube. You niggas die for equal pay, right? You know what I'm worth. I ain't your slave, right? You know I ain't shucking and jiving and high-fiving. You know this ain't back in the days, right? Well, I can't tell the way they killed Freddie Gray, right? Shot down Mike Brown, how they did Trey, right? Let them continue choking niggas. We gonna turn style. I ain't your token nigga. You know I came in this game independent, right? Look, I lost my flow for a minute there. <laughs> Title my own label, same difference. Old niggas is skeptical when it's their own shit. You bought nine iPhones and Steve Jobs is rich. Phil Knight is worth millions. You still bought them kicks. Spotify is nine million. They ain't say shit. Lucy, you got some explaining to do. The only one they hating on looks the same as you. That's cool. I know they trying to bamboozle you. Spending millions on me to trying to confusing you. I had to talk to myself. Hove, you should be used to it. It's politics as usual. All right, so I guess from that, you know, whole little freestyle flow I just gave to you guys, basically what he's saying is, you know, what he's got this business and people were trying to down him, even though Google and YouTube and all these other ones really tried to make him be a part of their thing now that he did something on his own of course they're all coming for him and then of course when he talks about how people look like him he's talking about your black folks out there you know that whole crabs in a barrel you know they don't want him to do better they don't want him to make money he points out the whole uh phil uh what's his name phil uh knight and steve jobs and all of that things that are obvious things that we all said jay and z is in a very uncomfortable place right now as a business owner and as a artist sometimes these things don't jive okay he is trying to appeal to his consumers those who are going to be purchasing from him but at the same time he's got to keep the bottom line of his business you know in mind i still don't see why there's this big problem with title i just don't see what the problem is okay i think it's just the fact that that people cannot reconcile Jay-Z with this business and feel comfortable with giving them him their money. So 
you know, at, at this point, it's just like either you're going to be with it or you're not, okay? People are saying he's desperate and he's he's doing all these things. But he said at the beginning that they were going to have all these exclusive deals, right? You know, him calling people and, you know, thanking them for jo joining title and now I think they said that he's giving away tickets to the Made in America concert or festival out in Philadelphia. And, you know, everybody is just saying, but but this is what they said they were going to do before. Yes, I I have no problem with Jay-Z or Tidal or Spotify or Google Play or all of these other ones that they have. I don't really see the problem with it. Right now, it seems like they're making good on the promise and really trying to be aggressive and keeping you guys interested in what they have. But, you know. At this point, it's just either you're going to do it or you're not, okay? So who gives a fuck if you don't? Who gives a fuck if you do? <laughs> you tell me if all the latest stunts with the exclusive songs from Rihanna and Beyonce and Jay-Z and, you know, Nicki Minaj and the videos and the concerts and, and the free tickets and the calls. And you guys tell me if any of that makes a difference for you. It wouldn't for me because if I'm just there for the music, then that's what I would be for. But it would be a really nice, um, you know, little extra, but, you know. I ain't mad at you, Jay-Z. Do what you gotta do, okay? You guys don't like it, go somewhere else. Easy as that. Guys, next up, Mariah Carey. You know, she has this Vegas um, residency that started back on May 6th, and it is a concert of her 18 number one hits in chronological order. Fine enough. Evidently, she was sick. She had an upper respiratory infection that turned into bronchitis, and she had to cancel one of her shows i think it was on may 13th and so you know everybody was like oh here we go she just fucking started we ain't even got one good week into it and she's already canceling shows well she only canceled the one show and the shows only go i think it's wednesday saturday and sunday i think those are the days that they say that she performs out there and from what it looks like she canceled the one show she was able to pick back up i think that was a wednesday by the time it got to saturday she was able to you know get back uh, on track and performing her concert at the Caesars Palace and everybody should be happy. They also, I, I think they said that she scheduled a, um, a makeup day, but then I heard that she didn't, so I don't really know what that is, but look, you guys, people are just so on Mariah Carey, and I mean, you know, it's Mariah Carey's voice is not what it used to be. There's a lot of people who we call legendary whose voice is not where it used to be. Of course, we have our exceptions. We've got our Patti LaBelle's. We got, you know, we've got these people that can still do it. But a lot of times, a lot of people lose their voice, okay? Maybe because it was Mariah Carey and she was an artist of her magnitude and people just thought she was going to be able to do this forever. But time has, has, has shown that she can't do it. So I don't know why people really keeps on continuously trying to point out that, you know, she can't hit these notes or, you know, that she doesn't sound the same and, because we already know that. So it's just like, if she's going to be in this concert and, you know, people are still paying tickets to go see her, then let that be that, you guys. It's just too bad that social media has it that every single time that she makes any kind of flaw, any kind of mistake, we have to see it and she has to relive it over and over and over and over and over again. Quiet as it's kept, there's plenty of even great singers who have fucked up nights. Sometimes it just don't, it just don't go well. And, uh, you know, if people catch it on video, then, you know, it's out there for everybody to see over and over. But nobody always has a perfect night, okay? It's just, it's just impossible. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm not saying that Mar Mariah has more better nights than not, but, I mean, I think that she's doing what she can do and um if you're a mariah carey fan and that's what you want to see her do then you know let the girl live she performed at the billboard awards it was about what i expected she sang vision of love and i was just nervous because i was just like girl you didn't i mean that's the song that put her on the map and of course we can think about the high notes at the end she started that song very very low not in the normal key that that song would would usually start because you know she has to build up to the high notes so she, you know, built up and she, she, you know, she hit the note. It wasn't as high as it normally would have been, but you know, it was not, you know, it was a little struggly or whatever, but I mean, I was fine with it. Mariah is 40, what, 44, 40, she's somewhere around my age. She's picked up some weight. She just like, so what? Just so what? I'm tired of really talking about Mariah Carey. Everybody thinks that people are out to get her. L.A. Reid put um he had an interview with somebody and he just mentioned that mariah carey is never going to be the artist that she was because she's in this 
she, she's in a strange little group where you know people old artists don't have that type of band support they're not going to play her songs on the radio and and he said they don't play stevie wonders they don't p play mick jaggers they don't play paul mccartney they don't you know he starts saying naming all these people none of these people will get regular airplay because music is different right now and nobody is really checking for older artists such as mariah so i don't think that he was going in on her and and being mean he was just stating the facts if we can just have her do these type of residencies and show up on award shows and every now and then pick up and do an appearance here and there then you know we're gonna be fine with that so yeah people just everybody turns everything into something else i ain't no extreme mariah carey fan i've got a lot of mariah carey's music and i enjoy a lot of her old music i prefer to enjoy mariah carey as a greatest hits person now like i'm not gonna be buying nothing of hers new and that's fine enough for me. I can remember the glory days. I can remember the good old times. I can remember what went on during the times that those songs were out. And I'm happy enough with that, you guys. So, yeah, I, I just, y'all give Mariah a fucking break, okay? She can't do it like she used to. And I don't know if that will ever change. But she's doing the best she fucking can, okay? Give her a break. While we talking about old artists, you guys, we might as well talk about Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson, earlier this week, she started a Twitter account, I think, an, and an Instagram account. And, you know, she's she's got her sexy music playing in the background. And she's got her soft voice going. And she says, I promised that you'd hear it from my lips and now you will. This year, new music, new world tour, a new movement. <laughs> I'm just like, a new cut, a new color, a new style. <laughs> Janet know she's been looking at these fucking Instagram videos, but anyway, you guys. Janet says she's coming out. She's got this world tour. She's got this new album. You know, people have been talking and she's been listening, okay? She's been listening to the music. She sees everything that's going on and fuck it. She ready to put it out there, you guys. Now, Janet ain't had an album since 2008 and um, uh, frankly saying I'm nervous for Janet too. Look, the, the fans today, they totally different than the fans of even eight years ago. Now, she's always going to have her diehard fans. It's always going to be people there for Janet Jackson. I don't give a fuck what she do. She can get up there and whisper all she want and people going to be there for it. They love her. Janet has her stands for sure. But this disrespectful bunch of new motherfuckers today, honey, I am nervous that she's going to get out there and... Um, you know, not perform at the level that she, she she once did. And, you know, people are going to rip her a new asshole. Like, she's 49 years old. I'm sure she can't dance like the Janet that was 28. Okay? It's just a fact. I'm not saying that she can't dance at all. She looks great. She's in great shape still. You know, Janet has always been a marginal singer at best. I think Janet is more of an entertainer. It's the whole package with Janet. I think you guys would agree with me, right? I'm not saying that she can't sing that, you know, but she's... She's not a singer, okay? So, <clears throat> but we enjoy to look at her and everything. But, you know, if she gets up there, and I just told you guys the whole spiel with Mariah Carey, if she gets up there and can't do what she used to do or even something close, you know, now she can always do the, you know, pose, you know, to stop and the pose and point and look and then walk over there sexy and then stop and pose and look and then walk over there sexy and stop and pose and look. But uh, yeah, I, I just wish and I hope that people will understand that we are aging. Okay, shit that we could do when we was 25. Fuck, we can't do it no more. I don't give a fuck. This is just in general terms. It's always you one or two that can do it. But in general terms, and the fact that Janet hasn't been out there, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous for Janet. Okay, because I don't want people to, to, to be bad to my Janet. And I don't show sure would hate for her to get up there and do some bullshit and then everybody just be all over her and it be all over the blogs and everything. Because trust me, people will turn on you in a minute. They will have it on every single blog. She has big shoes to fill. And now Janet Jackson, of course, doesn't have to prove anything. She has proven herself. She's done it all she's had huge tours and huge albums and i mean she was a movement for sure but was is the operative word here can she do it again what do you guys think yeah i'm, I'm gonna be there for, for, for janet i'm not gonna just buy her shit off the rip though I, i'm gonna need to hear it and see what it is and uh if i enjoy it then i will buy it i haven't bought a janet jackson album in a long time shit i almost feel like velvet rope no, what was the, the CD that had, it's all for you, if you want it, want it, it's 
up for you. You something, something. Hey, I can't even think of the name of the damn album, but I think that was the last album that I had. All the girls in the party, look at that body, shaking that thing. Look at this thing, it's right, fuck, all right. Think I'm gonna have to ride tonight. All the girls in the party, look, they, I'm gonna tell you what, she can't come out with that today, though. The shit that these motherfuckers talking about eating booty like groceries and everything, and you can't come out here, <laughs> you know what, she gonna have to just, it's gonna have to take it over to a whole new level because you motherfuckers expect shit so way out. I eat the booty like groceries, okay? That is the fucking most nastiest and stupidest. What is the fuck do that mean? I mean, you really getting up in the ass with some some vigor and some. <laughs> I mean, just in that motherfucker. But I just like that is so nasty for it to come from such a cute girl. That one line, you can't tell me that's not the one line that promoted and blew that song up because the song is cute enough. Okay, but boy, they love that part when she come up and talking about eating booty like groceries. What the fuck is the world coming to when we can just sing about that so casually in a goddamn song? Now, if you want to eat booty and shit, that's fine. But I prefer not to hear it every day on the goddamn radio, you know? So, oh my God, it ain't nothing sacred no more. What the fuck was I talking about? Janet. So, I'm, I'm concerned for Janet. I want her to come back and I want it to happen for her. I want it to be good. I want the music to be exciting and all of that. But um, I hope, listen, I hope you extreme Janet Jackson fan are, are ready to hold up your girl and be there for her because honey the comparisons already are there people are already talking about beyonce comparing her to this and you can't even compare the two it's two different eras two different artists when janet jackson was at her height and beyonce is at her height them two would be going i mean they would be right at each other's level so today at 49 you know you're not gonna put janet jackson against beyonce who's at the you know who's been at the top of her game for quite some time now you know just the comparisons and all that she's got a lot she's gonna have to deal with and so i like i say i hope you fans are there for keep your girl up she is gonna need y'all support and the new shows <laughs> that i haven't been watching let's start with candy's ski trip you guys, I already told you I wasn't reviewing it. I didn't even watch the show because I knew that if I watched it, it was going to make me want to review it or make me feel obligated to review it. So I was just like, I'm not even going to watch. I mean, I will watch eventually. Actually, I tried to watch like 10, 15 minutes of it this morning before I, I went to work. But yeah, you guys, I, it, it's nothing against Candy and her family and, and all of that. I mean, even Don Juan had tweeted me. It was just like, did you even watch the show? And I was just like, yeah, I, I didn't watch it. Um, but I plan on watching it, but yeah, I just, you guys, I'm just so tired of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Like, I can't even, like, you guys know the excitement that I have for loving Hip Hop ATL. I can't muster that up for nothing Real Housewives of Atlanta related anymore. I'm tired of it. Six months of that shit, okay? Having to deal with the comments, having to deal with the fans, having to deal with the show, having to deal with the impersonations. It's too much. I'm tired. I can't do it, you guys. And I've heard about the show. People, you know, seem to be it ranged from it being extremely funny to you know our family being extremely disrespectful and ungrateful and all that like i just mm -mm, I, the fuck is so far away from me i can't <laughs> you guys i can't even see it so yeah candy ski trip while you guys are all enjoying it and everything and i think i saw alex is reviewing it and some other people messy, was it messy Mouse? you guys do you guys watch messy mouse he is so fucking funny oh my god he is so funny you guys need to check out his channel if you don't um i think he got a new i'm gonna put it the link down and below he's one of the blackout people that's gonna be there too are you guys coming y'all's getting close but getting back on track other people are reviewing it so yeah, I'm sorry, but I just couldn't, I couldn't even muster up the strength for it. Uh, next up, Braxton Family Values. It starts actually tonight. Tonight is t Thursday. I don't plan on reviewing it. I mean, not plan. I know I'm not reviewing it. I'm just not. I don't even want to watch the show. I mean, I have nothing against the Braxtons at all, but I just, yeah. That's another show that I've been over for a long time. Can't muster up the fucks to give, y'all. Can't do it. I'm sure it's going to be good. There's a lot of people that are, excite that are excited about it. Of course, I'm sure ashley and kevin um you know scorpion show they'll review it amongst some other people but you know i just that's another one that i had to drop quite a while ago you guys i'm not really a reality show person like i don't watch many the ones that i watch that i'm faithful to 
Those are the ones that I review, which is always the Basketball Wise franchise, the Love and Hip Hop franchise, the Real Housewives of Atlanta only. I don't even watch any of the other part of that franchise. And for the most part, that's really it. Nothing that I else I watch religiously and nothing that I can even really be that concerned about to put out there for reviews, you guys. So, yeah, I, 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 I'm sorry. I don't really do it. It was a cool thing, though. Yesterday, Trina Braxton liked one of my photos. <laughs> just like hey now i know she probably only came across my photo because i don't think she follows me i'm pretty sure she doesn't but i know simply keandra i think she is the reason she might have liked the picture and maybe trina saw it and you know then she decided to like it too and it was really just a saying it wasn't a picture of me in the <laughs> so i didn't know why i'm making a big deal about it but i very rarely get any celebrity contact so i was just like oh was nice so yeah trina so that's a one little shout out for the show y'all that's a i guess that would be my endorsement y'all gonna watch it and then y'all catch up with all the other reviewers that's reviewing the show so but nothing no no braxton family values i'm sorry and then um the cutting in the atl show that comes on after braxton family values i'm going to watch it tonight i may review it it's going to depend on the first episode whether or not i can you know get with it and if it feels like it's a whole bunch of acting or scripted and y'all can't i don't have the energy for that but if it seems like it's gonna be cool from the commercials it looks like it might be something interesting i'll give it a chance i will give it a chance but i can't promise you guys nothing right now i mean it would be cool to get another show to to review i had to drop r&b divas i just couldn't do that no more that show is just so mean-spirited it's like nothing that i could even get you know i just i was through with r&b divas so it would be cool to add another franchise or add another show so the best i can tell you is i'll give it a chance and see but yeah you guys this week actually was really nice only doing a couple of videos you guys last week was such a fucking bad week it was such a bad week i'm not even gonna get into it but yeah it was it was it was rough last week so this week was really nice i didn't have to do too much i i, I still am trying to get together uh, um, best of video. I, if I don't have much to do this weekend with it being Memorial Day weekend, maybe I'll try to get that shit together. But yeah, you guys, it, it takes a lot to make videos and folks just really don't understand that. I think they just think that we sit in front of the camera and talk and it's so much more that goes into it. And I, you know, you guys have heard us say it plenty of times. So I won't go into that, but sometimes you just need just a little tiny little break. So this week has been good. But like I said, you know, my, <laughs> my money, my pockets, these two damn videos a week ain't too good on the old pocketbook. So yeah, I'm gonna have to try to figure out some other things. But yeah, that's it, you guys. What are you guys doing for Memorial Day? It's a Memorial Day weekend. I hope you guys are gonna be safe out there. Y'all remember no drinking, no driving. I need every one of my rock stars to make it back to me, okay? Because even though shit happens, y'all, I still loves y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna get y'all hooked. Oh, yes, I am. I ain't gave y'all a hug in a long time. <laughs>